Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to add health checks in a .NET 6 web application. Before we go to the implementation, let us first understand what is health check and what is the need for health check. For the first part, health checks as the name specifies is an HTTP endpoint exposed by the web application. Its sole purpose is to let the caller know that the application is live and is available to server requests in case some client wants to make a request. Health checks are called by the container orchestrators in case of microservice architecture. Suppose there are many microservices which make up an application. In order to make sure that each instance of the microservice is available and healthy, that is, is available to serve the client requests, the container orchestrator keeps polling this API just to make sure the application has not crashed. And in case the health check fails, it goes ahead and spawns a new instance of the application and also notifies the developers that one of the instance was crashed recently so that the developers can investigate as to what caused the crash. Now that we are aware of what health checks are and why they are used, now let's dive into the implementation part where we will try to add a basic health probe in our .NET 6 web application which will help us to get the health of our running application. So here we will use our same HTTP logging application which we had created recently. We will have to do two main things. First, while we are configuring our services, we will need to add our health check service. In addition to this, we'll also have to map our health check service to a route. For example, we want to enable the health check service at route health check. So now whenever we are requesting with this particular route to this application, it will return back as a state. It will return back the status of the app in case it is healthy or it will fail because the app has crashed. So for example, if I run this app, just to make sure, now I'll do one thing. I'll request the health check API. Now, as we can see from the console as well, the request was made, an HTTP request was made for path health check. And the response was status 200, a plain text. And this is the response, which says healthy. This API will be used by container orchestrators to keep on polling and checking until unless we get any other response status code from 200. We will keep polling and this means that the application is healthy and available to serve the request from clients. In case this application, this particular application is crashed, if I go ahead and stop this application. Now if I go ahead and refresh this, since the app is stopped, we cannot get a 200 response. So in this case, the orchestrator will come to know that the service is crashed or it has come down due to some reason and it will go ahead and spawn a new instance of the same application or it might restart the service and also notify the developers who can investigate what was the issue because of which the application crashed. So this was a quick example of how we can enable a basic health check in our .NET Core Web API. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.